The eyes are the windows to the soul, but they may be able to show you much more than that. Hi, I'm Rebecca Brayton and welcome to WatchMojo.com. And today we'll be seeing how a simple eye exam may be able to detect the early signs of diabetic retinopathy. So we'll start by having you introduce yourself. My name is uh, Dr. Ben Zert. I'm the Director of Teleoptometry and Ophthalmology in the state of New Jersey. I'm responsible for all the telescreenings. So we do schools, churches, uh, runaway centers, and soup kitchens. How does this exam work? The test takes roughly about 30 seconds per eye. We take a color image, and from the color image, we can use a computer to divide that and to look for vision-threatening disease. Diabetes, of course, we're looking for glaucoma and age-related macular degeneration. Then we're gonna take a second image, which is called autofluorescence, which looks specifically at your RPE, retinal pigment epithelium, and gives us a good idea on how healthy your eye is. How does diabetes affect the eyes? As we get acquired diabetes, roughly 10 years if uncontrolled, it's going to go into the eye and it creates diabetic retinopathy. When it creates diabetic retinopathy, it, it actually has the blood vessels break and start leaking. And when they leak, they actually bleed inside the eye. And as they bleed and the bleeders become larger, they actually rob vision uh, from the patient. What kind of lifestyle changes can be put in place to avoid diabetic retinopathy? What we can do, we have to take charge of our own body. And that means we have to do exercise 150 minutes a week. We have to change our eating habits. We have to introduce better lifestyle. We have to stop smoking and so on and so forth. For example, if you have diabetes and you smoke, you're gonna have cataracts 10 years before anybody else. So we need to be just more in control of what we do. Can you tell us about the exam they're about to see? What we're going to do is we're gonna have you place your, your chin in a chin rest and we're gonna bring an infrared light towards your eye and your eye doesn't detect infrared. We're gonna be able to look inside your eye in your retina and be able to capture an image with a small flash, a white flash, and that will show us what's happening. And that will digitally store the image and then we're gonna be able to separate the images in various colors to look at the different layers inside the eye and see what disease we may find. Then we're gonna take a second photograph, which is a little bit brighter, which will allow us to study the RPE, the retinal pigment epithelium. Now, very good, that was much brighter. <laughs> okay, very good. Okay, so what are we looking at here? Well, everything is done. We're looking at your fundus. This is the back of the eye. The pattern that you see is more precise than a fingerprint. We're looking at arteries and we're looking at veins and we're looking at these white lines, those would be nerve fiber layers. So we're talking about glaucoma. So your cup to disc ratio is perfect. Your artery vein ratio is also very good. And we're then going to look at your macula. Your macula is your center of vision and this allows you to actually see color and then it allows you to see black and white. So when we separate the images electronically, we're gonna talk about glaucoma, and in your case, your cup to disc ratio is perfect, your uh, nerve fiber layers are perfect, so we are ruling out, in this instance, the glaucoma aspect. Then we're looking at diabetic retinopathy, and we would see bleeders, small hemorrhages, and we, of course, see none. And then we're gonna look at deep inside your choroid, and these would be for age-related macular degeneration, which you're too young to have but these are the tests. So we're looking for glaucoma, diabetes, and age-related macular degeneration, and this gives you a clean bill of health. Okay, so there was that second really bright flash. So what's that photo? Yes, the bright photograph is a monochromatic view, so it's a black and white picture. We're looking into the layers of the RPE, called the retinal pigment epithelium. So in your case, you're extremely healthy. Everything is fine. And what we would do in case you weren't well, from an optometry point of view combined with a nutrition, we would change how you eat, what you eat, your supplementation and vitamins and so on and so forth. And then we could change the advent of having an adverse vision problem. Great, thank you very much. Thank you for your time.